What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do another equipment review. Today we have the American Camber Neutral Grip Bar from Elite FTS, as you can see here with the logo. This bar on their site right now costs $289. So with this bar, you have four different grip positions. One, two, three, four. You see right here, there's a two inch camber in the bar. And we'll show you guys through the video, the demonstrations on the differences that this bar has. But this is a really cool bar and we'll show you guys what it can do. So one thing I found with this bar is that it does tend to spin in the J-hooks. When you load it up, it'll stop spinning so much because the weight kind of keeps it steady. You just gotta be careful when you're sitting back going to the bar that you'll whack your head on it. Or it's not like this and you're going to sit and it turns and hits you in the head. So I always suggest just keep it like that when it's unloaded. You go ahead and lay back, go for your normal bench setup. But with this bar, because you have a two inch keeper in it, always make sure your hands are even too. Sometimes people grip it unevenly. Just make sure your hands are even. So this is the more, I guess, natural position for me, which is a second handle from the outside. But when you go to press, that two inches of added camber in it increases the range of motion. So you're getting a big, big stretch down at the bottom. So that's one of the main differences between this bar and your typical American press bar that Elite FTS has. Sure. Also too, this bar is lighter than your typical, than your typical uh, Olympic bar. Olympic bars are typically 44 or 45 pounds. This bar is 35 pounds, so it's a little bit lighter. Um, the stability demands are very high. So you'll see with lighter weights, athletes will use it. There's a lot of shaking. So it just reinforces to make sure you're gripping the bar tight, which you should be when you're using any bar. Um, and that will eliminate the shakiness of the bar. But this is definitely a brutal bar. It's very difficult to use. That added two inches is, a, it completely changes. It's like adding two inches to your squat or two inches to any movement that you're doing, like a deficit deadlift. So it makes it much harder. Um, I've used a regular bar, a regular Swiss bar, and it's significantly easier than this bar. Another cool feature of this bar that you can do is actually flip it. So to keep the grip positioning how it is, you just take it, flip it upside down, put it back in, and then what you have here is almost like a board press. So it's a cool way that we found to use this bar where instead of having like a board or a towel on your, on your chest, you can use this and you get a two inch board press, which is pretty nice if you're trying to do some top end work. But again, the, the variations that you have for this, you can use it regular where you have the two inch camber, or you can use it upside down where you have a two inch board to press off of. And then you have a wide grip. I would say this is more of like a neutral or a, not a neutral, but a normal grip, and then two close grip options. So there are some, there's versatility with this bar. It's not a whole bunch. Uh, it's, you cannot do much overhead pressing with it because the way the bar is positioned, it'll hit you in the chin. Doing rows with it is okay. We have set it up on an incline bench where you pull this out and you pop this up and you can lay on the bench and go through rows. So that's a cool option to use with this bar. But it just takes a little setup process for you. Um, rating this bar, so I always say if I recommend a bar or not. So I had this bar, I've had it for probably like three years. I can't say I've used it, you know, more than 20 times, to be honest with you. We'll use it if guys have some shoulder issues or any type of injuries or anything like that. For my personal uses, when I was running West Side or Conjugate Method, I would use it somewhat frequently, maybe every couple waves. Uh, but if I could go back, I don't know that I would buy this bar again. So it really depends on what type, type of training program you're following, or if you have any specific injuries, like any AC separation or anything, a more neutral grip is gonna feel more comfortable through presses. Um, but you know, it depends. That's what I would say as far as having ownership of this bar. I would much rather have the um, Elite FTS, what is that, the Cowboy Bar. I believe, yeah, this is the Iron Cowboy Bar. Take that every day over this bar. Thanks for tuning into the video today, guys. Like I said, this bar has a, some cool uses, some cool features. I don't think it's a necessity for your garage gym. If you have a training center and you can buy enough to outfit your whole gym, then it could be pretty cool to have. 
Um, but make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see me review. I still have a lot of stuff in the gym that I need to review. But if there's anything you guys want me to do, let me know down below. And I can either purchase it or maybe I already have it in the gym. And we'll get that to you guys as soon as possible.